there guys and welcome finally welcome to a brand new let's play my most anticipated let's play ever i'm a mass draft and i welcome you to this yes thirdsense.com presents only the greatest gladiators are immortalized in the heavens The rest sit around and pretend to be heroes, like the little fat kid in the moon. Third Sense presents... A house. Welcome, finally folks, to Swords and Sandals 4 Tavern Quests. Game made by Third Sense and, uh, well, with Fizzy.com in 2009. This game is very, very well requested. Very highly requested by you guys for me to let's play it. And I've been trying to hold it off for a while because, as I've mentioned on multiple occasions, I'm not a big fan of this game. But, do you know what? I know this is going to be a long-ass let's play. It's probably the longest let's play I've ever done. From, from what I know, this is probably the longest let's play ever for me. Um, but regardless, let's go through it. May just to sort of save face a little bit, may split it into sort of like specific sort of series, I guess. Well, I wouldn't say series, but have it maybe around for a couple of months and then I do something else and then we'll come back to it. You know, maybe we'll do that. I don't know. I'll think about it later. But anyway, let's enter the tavern. There you go. So immediately off the bat, look at all these references to previous Swords and Sandals games. We have this guy who was the, uh... yes, all right. So yeah, we have, we, have, we have John the Butcher here. We have the guy... Uh, well, yeah. Anyway, these guys are chatting too much, I guess. Yeah, who are you, mysterious stranger in black? I don't know who you are. Oh. Okay, so immediately we have problems here. Good to know. So, Swords and Sandals 4 is based around a board game. Um, yes, we do have a bit of fighting, don't get me wrong, um, but it's basically a board game with sort of like your pieces and whatever, but I'm going to change the story a little bit and just say this is formerly Pete's Holiday. Um, so this is sort of like a tavern on the edge of the, uh, of the island uh, and everything like that, uh, but formerly Pete has decided to turn up here after becoming champion uh, of the world and of the universe after going into space and kicking more ass. Which I was expecting for Swords and Sounds 4 to be, you know, maybe go up against like alien monstrosities or whatever. Never mind. Instead we get this. That, that's fine. Um, but after another triumphant victory for Formerly Pete, he's come back to have a bit of a holiday in the tavern, drink a lot, and everything else. But yeah, the reference is here. Like we have John the Butcher here, who was the second champion in Swords and Sounds 1. We have Wolfgang, who was the first champion in Swords and Sounds 1. The little fat kid, obviously. We have He Chaos here. He's alright. Well, he's alright now, I guess. He was like the first. He was like the main boss in Swords and Sounds 1, but never mind. Yeah, we also have the Priest from Swords and Sounds 1 and 2. We have the Priest of Swords and Sounds 3, where this guy is literally just. He sells guns. We have the, the woman that sells magic and potions in Swords and Sounds 2. We have a skeleton dude here. And this guy who is sort of like, I guess, the uh, the arena keeper, you could say, in Swords and Sounds 2. So, there's a lot of references here right off the bat. But anyway, so while we do that, let's begin a new quest. Formerly Pete has joined in. And yes, he'll be playing as Formerly Pete. So, let's play against four gladiators here. That You can tell that I've got the full version here. I just bought it, actually. It was uh, £12.50 around that, so not too bad, I guess. All right, more experience, more gold. Let's create a new gladiator. Obviously, the gladiator we're going to go for is formerly Pete, since he is awesome and everyone likes him. Right. Um, I, th I, I, got, I I want to try and get his stats about right, so I think I wanted to dodge more than parry. Uh, and this. Th I think they've changed it a little bit, because that wasn't like that. But anyway, that's fine. So body type. There is a new body type here, which is... Hexapod. 
Look how cool that looks. But no, no, we're going to go for zombie. Because that is formerly Pete. He's a zombie, damn it. And I think his body color was that. Features. I'm fairly certain that he was an imp. Yeah, he was an imp. Or was he a goblin? Nah, he was an imp. So he was an imp. Okay. Hair. Where is formerly Pete's gorgeous hair? There it is. And his facial hair. Where's that mustache? That's the one. And just change his hair color to what it should be. Let's let's let's, let's go darker. He's 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 got a bit different now. He's 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 more evil. He was he was evil anyway, but sod it. Right, we can select a class now. Fighter, paladin, bard, or mage. Fighter. Dual wield two weapons at once. 25% more melee damage. 20% more chance to hit. 10% chance, 10 chance of critical hit. And 10% chance of a whirlwind attack. Pretty good. Paladin. Dual wield two weapons at once as well. 20% more total health. 10% resistance versus spells. And 10% chance to parry and dodge attacks. The Bard. 20% extra chance to hit with taunts. 25% more damage with taunts. 40% resistance versus taunt attacks. And a 20% discount in shops. That's alright, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And last but not least, the mage. Faster magicka regeneration. Uh, 40%. 40% more total magicka. And 40% more damage with all spells. Well, let's be honest, formerly Pete was a mage, so we're going to make him a mage again. So, again, we have our statistics here. Our, uh, our stats. Strength, do more damage with melee weapons. Vitality, boost your health and regeneration. Charisma, boosts taunting and cheaper items. Intellect, improves magic and boosts spells. And agility, bonus to parrying, dodging, and defense. Right, well, immediately intellect. Definitely intellect. And I think a little bit in vitality. Maybe a little in strength as well. There we go. Okay, so... Here are all the guys we're up against, here. This is formerly Pete. He's awesome. He's great. He's great. Right, um... Actually... I gotta try and remember this now. How, how in the world do we buy stuff? What's that? Oh, oh we, we, we don't care about that. No, we don't care about that. Load formerly Pete. Alright, so I guess I can't get anything new. Oh, that's me, apparently. No, this is me. This is Pete. This is Pete. So we can have humans battling each other, which is interesting, I guess. But no, it's going to be Pete against the world here. So we are against Maidor, a level 1 fighter. Boromir, a level 1 fighter. And Crassium, a level 1 paladin. Let's begin. Which game board shall we play on? So, you can get uh, more game boards the higher level you are. But for the moment, the Veil of Heroes Realm will do for me. Right! Veil of Heroes! Adventure beckons around every corner. Formerly Pete goes first. So, we have a dice roller here. This game is very, uh, very RNG based. But, ah, well. So, we roll the dice. Give us a roll of a two. We can go one or two ways here. Let's go to the right. The left, that's the left. You stumble across a local village. Would you like to visit shops and buy some items? We only have ten gold, so we can't actually get too much. If anything at all. I don't think we can actually get anything. That's a bit of a shame. Really? Nothing for ten. Nothing. Okay, well that was a bit of a bust. Oh well. Crassium gets a... It's a bloody... Ah! Okay, so I might as well... I might as well uh, show you guys what uh, each of the squares do. So, at the signpost, you get 25 gold. So that's this one here. Uh, the blue ones just give you 10 gold, which is pretty good altogether. Um, the red ones make you lose gold. Just ordinary red ones. Uh, this one here, uh, the, with a timer on it, freezes you for a turn. Um, and we'll get into what the other ones do later. One, two, three. Come on. All right, the deep ravine. You're making your way down a steep and precarious path. When you slip, 
On your left, soft grass. On your right, a deep, dangerous ravine. Which way will you fall? Five! Nice! You were lucky! You lurched towards the ravine. Dirt giving way under your boot. Miraculously, you steady your balance and regain your footing. Backing away from the ravine, you find a fate mask has been uncovered by the rock you slipped on. A fate mask is really good. It means for you instantly win the, uh, uh, the test you had. Plus a lot of other things. Right, these guys are winning gold here, which you can do from playing minigames. The moment Formula Peak still in first place, because a fate mask trumps everything. Sorry everybody, we have fate masks. All right, I'm not gonna play a minigame just yet. I'm not gonna fight rival Gladiator. Now I'm gonna play a minigame, and it's epic battle. Two mighty armies meet on the field of battle. Choose a side to bet on. If an army wins, you win gold. Win more gold by backing the smaller army. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for Beast Force. Go, Beast Force! Come on, Beast Force! Yeah! We're gonna win. Kill him! Yeah! Beast Force is victorious! Beast Force rules! It's not Alpha Force. Anyway, you've shown fine generalship this day, Gladiator. Your army was victorious. Total earned 86 gold. Very nice. Must be on 106. <coughs> so, pretty much, um, oh, he summoned me for a duel. Okay. Uh, that could be a problem. Okay, let's say, winner gets losers, half of losers gold. Right, he has more health than I do, and he does more damage than I do. Oh, God. The problem is I don't have any magic yet. That's the problem. So, I'm going to get absolutely balls over here. There. He's defending for some reason. Well, whack him again. And miss, and we'll probably lose. There you go. Right, since I'm a mage, I really need to try and avoid attacks for most of it. But I didn't want to get stuck. I didn't want to get stopped, to be honest. Right, so I'm still in first place. That's good. Uh, the Fate Mask really does deal... It really does give you a lot of stuff. Right, so I can go either one or two ways. I can go to here, which I don't want to do. Or I can go to here, which gives us a treasure chest, which means more money! Yeah, another 35 gold. He gets 25 gold for the signpost. And he played Boulder of Doom for 11 gold. So there's a lot of mini games here. There's a lot of mini games here. Six. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Nah, sorry, we'll do this. We'll give this a go. All right. You are trudging down the long, dusty road when a fiery, all-powerful, and evil demon, Daemon, appears before you, black with hellish ichor. He tones in a deep, hollow voice, Give me, un give unto me the gift of gold, or I'll eat your soul, traveler. There's a 50% chance of a good result here. Uh, I will put Kate and give him half my gold. Oh, nice! Chuckling hideously, the da the daemon pours the gift of gold and then appears, then disappears in a puff of smoke. You thank your lucky stars. The daemon didn't ask for more. Shaking somewhat, you move down the road. You've lost half your gold, but you gained two intellect, which is really bloody good for Pete. Oh, he's ahead now, and he's got money. That's not good. We need to stay ahead here. Oh, he's battling! Stop battling me! Fine, I'll take half your gold. I might actually win this. You do not... Okay, you do have a lot of damage. But you only have nine health. Seven. That sucks for me. That's three. And I'm dead. Yep. I need to get uh, some magic at some point. No, Pete! Don't piss yourself! Ow. Yeah, we need to avoid battles. As I mentioned, we need to just avoid battles. One, two. Well, that's all right. We get a free roll. So it's another turn. Four. No, I don't want to go to the arena. Right. Another one of these rolling ones. A swiftly moving river blocks your path here. Your only way to cross, a dozen stepping stones. It's time to test your fate. A two. Delicately and deliberately, uh, you cross the ford. You are nearly halfway across when you slip and fall into the river. It takes all your strength to swim back to the shore. You're exhausted. You're delayed this turn. We go back. But at least when we go back, we get money for it. So that's all right. That fate mask is saving my ass so far. 
Ah, there two, those two are fighting now. Oh, okay. He chaoses out the game. So, Crasium defeats Maydor, who is eliminated from the game. So, there are four different things that you can have at stake. Uh, one of them we can't do yet, which is the uh, have a golden sandal on the line. That's this little icon here. If you land on this icon here, you get a golden sandal. So, um, there's that. And golden sandals are really good in this game. Uh, number two is... Um, yeah, so number two is the, uh, the loser is frozen for three turns. That sucks, because... You don't get three moves, and it's really imperative that you get to the end as quick as possible. The third one is the one that I keep going for, which is the winner gains half the loser's gold. It's not only too much, it's just money, really, which ain't too bad. And the last one is the loser is defeated, and uh, defeated, killed, and eliminated from the game. So, yep, yeah, he kills out the game. Then there were three. He is still winning money here, is he, Boromir? Or well, five. And a three. My fate was balanced. Delicately and deliberately, you crossed the ford, slowly placing one foot in front of the other. Eventually, you reach the other side, dry and safe. Thank you. And more money. Oh, I'm gaining on you. I'm gaining on you. Pete's gaining. Oh, God. A six. And money. Damn it. And he got money. Everyone's getting money. But Pete's still in the lead. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Wrong one. Wrong guy. So that's all like ball of yarn looking thing. Oh, please kill him. No, you just took his gold. Fair enough. No, don't fight me. Fight. Well, it doesn't matter now. I, I, I'm not going to win this. But I will delay you for three turns. If I win. Which I won't. Because I don't have anything. Damn it, Pete. Ah, you missed. Here comes a punch. I missed. Ow. But ah, no. Well, that was a failure, wasn't it, Pete? This is why we need to get you magic. Anyway, it's on frozen for three turns. It's fine. It's okay. Because I'm, I'm going to lose anyway. But yeah, that's all like ball of yarn thing. Uh, allows you to swap positions with another guy. With another uh, guy on the board. Anyway, first to reach the flag was Crasium. Right, you finished with the most gold was Crasium. Right, it won the most fights was Crasium. Right, it earned the most gold in minigames was Boromir. Right, it with the most fate mask is formerly Pete. And with that, the winner is Crasium. There we go. First, second place, though, for uh, formerly Pete. That ain't too bad. Hey. And with second place, we do get a level up, though. And a bit of gold. All gold earned apart from this game has been placed into your gladiator's bank vault and saved. Right. I think more intellect is needed. Right. We have unlocked a new quest card. You can have a quest card on you. Um, which is good. Uh, the Luck of Sphericles. When you carry this card, you receive 20 gold instead of 10 and landing on a blue tile. Pretty good. Now we can buy stuff. Can we buy any magic yet? No. That's a shame. That is a right ass shame. Um, weapons. Alright, so we have 42 gold here, so we could buy a spear. A spear's actually a pretty decent option, I guess. How about armor? We could buy some armor. We could buy one bit of armor, and it would be silk pajamas. I feel like damage is something we are missing out on at the moment, so... Let's get ourselves. Where did that thing go? Where'd it go? Damn it. It's gone. Bug it off. No. Spartha might not be too bad here, actually. Three to four damage. I'll take it, I guess. But with that now, we can uh, equip our lovely formerly Pete with a sword. There you go. So we're slowly grinding um, to get like armor and stuff. A lot of grinding in this game, so there we go. A lot of grinding here, but when we get a magic kill, uh, when we get uh, some magic, we'll be fine. That's my high score for the moment. All right, guys. So that is the first episode of Souls and Sandals Four uh, Tavern Quests of the Let's Play. So in the next episode, we will be doing another one and probably getting our ass kicked. I may do a bit of grinding off-screen just to get some magic. I think I'm going to do that. 
just to get some magic. So, I will see you then.